In the recent past, we got communication from the executive that we were supposed to get bursaries, and the forms were supposed to be collected between 6th and 9th. Up to date, those forms have not been collected. We went to the people and told them to go to the ward offices to collect those forms. As you are aware, the schools are open in the 23rd, and you know that we are living uh, within, an area, within areas with uh, very high poverty. Uh, parents cannot be able to pay school fees, they're depending on this bursary. Uh, schools are opening without forms already at the ground, meaning that we are very late. Most of the counties have already got uh, these bursaries and the process of vetting is on and uh, they are likely to give uh, bursaries to students who are going back on the 23rd. So we are planning this uh, after this uh, press to go and meet the governor just to discuss with him uh, that issue of bursary. The second issue which is affecting uh, the assembly is on their welfare. Is on their welfare. Uh, we are really suffering as uh, people, as honorable members. Some of us, in fact, even took what about us to come to this special setting because we do not have money. Uh, we want to go and meet the governor and discuss with him our welfare. We want to find out where the problem are, uh, is. For us, we are not fighting, we are just going to negotiate. Two, in this county assembly in Migori, we have what we call house leadership. The house leadership, uh, headed by the majority leader, is intimidating the members. We are victimized. Uh, someone is be believing that he, he owns the governor. Such a member is not allowed to speak to the governor. And we feel so bad because we are all members of the county assembly. We represent our people. There is a legal role that brought us here and we need to perform it without victimization. So we are not happy as county members of Migori assembly and uh, we are going to meet our governor that we love so much over some issues. And that's why we never wanted to get into the plenary before we meet him to air out some of the issues and we get up the resolutions. That is what I have. It's indeed a fact that we need to look at uh, projects, community projects, so that members can be able to stay at home. There are some of the challenges that only dialogue can address. It's unfortunate that uh, there are those who want to incite other members for their own interest, which I believe is also part of politics. However, I believe everything is going to be sorted in the most amicable way so that we can move on as initially.